So in today's video, I'll help you to unbox and set up the Eero 6 Plus mesh Wi-Fi system. Now the pack I have today is the 2-pack, which can support houses as large as 3,000 feet. But the Eero 6 Plus is also available in a single pack, which covers houses as large as 1,500 square feet. And it's also available in a larger 3-pack version, which covers houses as large as 4,500 square feet. Now the setup procedure, whether you get the one pack or the three pack is pretty much the same. So I'm going to walk you through that procedure using the two pack as an example. And if you're looking to buy one of these, I'll leave a link right below the video. So feel free to check that out. So I've removed the outer plastic packaging. So let's open up the box and see what's inside. The first thing you'll notice is the Eero unit itself. There's two of these. Let's put those aside. And here's the second one. I'm going to put that aside as well. And next you have this box inside here. And that seems to have all the accessories and let's see what's inside this box and right on top there seem to be two power connectors that actually help us to power the Eero units let's put these aside and once you remove this top shelf you'll see that there is an ethernet cable and you'll need this ethernet cable to connect it to the modem in your house or the box that your ISP has installed and I'll show you how to do that. And last but not least, you have a document in there that says warranty, safety and legal. Now that we've got everything nice and unboxed, it's time to start the setup process. And to do this, we're gonna have to download an app first and then kind of jump back and forth between the devices, your modem and the app. And I'll walk you through the entire process. So so let's go do that. Now the first step in the process is to download the Eero app and that's what I'm going to do. And this is pretty much the same whether you have an iPhone like I do or an Android phone. If you're on Android, you're going to go into the Play Store. I'm going to go into the App Store and look for the Eero app and I'm going to search for Eero. And there it is, the Eero Wi-Fi system. Tap Get and then wait for it to complete downloading. And then tap Open to open the app. And then it asks whether I'm new to Eero. In my case, I'm new to Eero. But if you already have an account, you can tap that. But in my case, I'm new to Eero. I'm going to tap that. Now, since this is an Amazon product, you have the option of continuing with an email or phone number or continuing with your Amazon account. In my case, I'm just going to use my Amazon account, which seems to be the easiest easiest way to do this. Tap continue with Amazon and then I'm going to sign into my Amazon account and in the next step it says that you're ready to start setting up your Eero Wi-Fi network and then it says that these are the items that you'll need and we already have these fortunately. Then you're going to tap start and in the first step it asks you to unplug your old modem or your fiber ONT and that's exactly what we're going to do. So in my case as you can see here I have my modem which is connected to my old Wi-Fi router and what I've done is unplugged both my modem and my Wi-Fi router and I'm also going to go ahead and unplug the cable the Ethernet cable that connects my old Wi-Fi router to my modem we don't want those two connected anymore so we've now jumped back into the app and I'm going to tap the next button and now I'm going to connect my gateway Eero device to my modem using the provided Ethernet cable now one thing to note about these Eero devices is that either of these can can be your gateway device. You don't have to pick one or the other. And after I'm done with that, I'm going to take the USB end of the Eero's power adapter and plug it into the Eero. The USB port is right between the two Ethernet ports. And then plug the wall adapter into a wall outlet. And once it's plugged in, you'll see a white slow blinking LED on the front. And next, I'm going to plug my modem back into a power outlet to make it power on and initialize. And then I'm I'm going to hop back into the app and once I'm in the app I'm going to tap the next button and then it asks you to allow Bluetooth access I'm going to tap allow and then it says that it is looking for a gateway and now it says that it has found my Eero 6 plus device and then it asks me to kind of set a location for where this Eero 6 plus is going to be installed now this can be one of the pre-selected options or a custom label depending on where you plan to install this. In my case, this is in the living room. So I'm going to tap living room and then it asks you to give your Eero Wi-Fi network a name and password. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to call it Eero test in my case. You can call it whatever you'd like. This will be your new Wi-Fi network and then enter a Wi-Fi password. And you want to remember that password because all your devices will now need that password. And then I'm going to tap create network 
and then it says that it is setting up your Eero Wi-Fi network. And then it tells me that my Eero 6 Plus in the living room is up and running. Tap next. And then we're going to add another Eero device. I'm setting up a two-pack unit, but the setup process is pretty much identical, no matter how many additional mesh units you add. So I'm going to go ahead and tap add another Eero device. And you can place this pretty much anywhere in your home, but preferably kind of at a midpoint somewhere in the middle of your home so that you have even kind of Wi-Fi distribution throughout the house. That's a good practice to follow. But again, go ahead and place it in another room where you feel you could benefit from better Wi-Fi. I'm going to place mine in the bedroom. I'm going to plug in its power adapter into the back and then plug the power adapter itself into a wall outlet. And you should again see a slow blinking white LED when you do that. And now I'm back in the app and then it tells me that it is looking for my Eero device. Give it a few seconds and it found my Eero device and set it up and lets me know that the placement is perfect, which is really nice. And then hit next. And then again, it asks you to label where your Eero device will be. In my case, it will be in the bedroom. Tap that. It sets the device up and lets you know that it is now connected to the internet. And if you have more Eero devices, you could set that up to set up your mesh network. But in my case, I only have two. So I'm done with that. And I'm going to tap finish setup and in the next window it asks me whether I'd like to update all devices. I highly recommend doing this. I'm going to tap install now and then I'm going to tap got it and it then lets you know that you have access to a free two-month trial of Eero Plus which has quite a few cool features like malware and security protection and very importantly parental controls and you can even use a private VPN through that service and it asks you whether you'd like to sign up for that. I'm not going to do that right now, but honestly, if you need some of these features, it's a great plan. I'm just going to go ahead and tap that little cross on the top to close that out and then wait for it to complete updating all the devices. And you may notice the LED on the front of the Eero kind of blink and change colors when it goes through its update process. That's perfectly normal. And once it's completed the update process, the app will let you know that the devices are now back online and you'll see that online little checkbox up there that lets you know that everything is back to normal. And that's pretty much all the setup that you need to do to get your Eero devices up and running. It was really super simple to set this up, especially as compared to traditional routers. And this app also does quite a few cool things. It allows you to change your Wi-Fi name and password, create guest networks, and do a bit of troubleshooting. And you can even change some network settings. In addition to that, you can also check your fastest download and your fastest upload speeds, which is pretty cool. And you can also check which devices are currently connected to your network. And as I said, this is all the setup that you need to do to get these up and running. And if you're looking to buy one of these Eero 6 Plus devices, I'll leave a link right below the video. So please feel free to check that out. I hope this video has been useful. If it has, please give it a big thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel for more reviews, unboxings, and how-to videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time.